So we've already built our portal. We just need to turn that into a prefab and drag it into this uh, this scene. So I'm just going to um, clean up my clean up my scenes folder a bit. I'll jump into that. Make sure I save before I leave this scene. I jump back into my portal test. Grab my portal and go to assets. Create a new folder. I call it prefabs. Prefabs. I'm just going to drag my portal into that folder. Have a look. Oh, beautiful. There's our there's our portal. Our portal game object with all of its children. Wonderful. Okay, so now I can go back into our park uh, scene. Oh, um, yeah, yes, I do want to save it. All right, go back into my park scene and drag our portal. Where is our portal prefabs portal? Drag our portal into it. All right. So remember our yeah, we got our Z view, and for now we're just going to keep it orientated in this way. If we rotated it, it's going to our it just our Z our testing of the of whether or not you're inside the portal is only set up for the Z uh, the Z axes at the moment. Okay, and so yeah, so now I can grab my camera. I'm going to orientate my camera uh, so that it is behind the portal for now, just for now. All right, so lovely. Okay, so we're seeing through. You see how I see through at the moment? There's nothing there. It's like a it's empty space. Well, if we if this was AR, what would be through on the other side of the portal would be just the AR world, like the uh, AR world, the real world, the physical world. Right. Okay, so. Um, I'm gonna create. Where's that game view? Actually, I'm gonna put my put my go back to the default layout. All right, so all right, so beautiful. Now we can see our game view. Um, we can test. We can we can test it all. Make sure it's working by go back into our into our park materials park material and just go down to stencil test back to equal. All right, and now in theory, let's see. Uh, look in through here. There we go. We can only see our world through this portal. And in fact, once I once I put this uh, this camera controller back on our back, back on our park, uh, what was it called? Uh, camera controller, uh, camera control, camera controller. Yeah. <laughs> once I put the camera controller back on the camera object, um, then we'll, we'll that'll that'll move around. And the only other thing we've got to remember is to set our materials so that they do change once we go through in and out of that portal. All right, so there's going to be two materials that we've set up. Uh, the first one, the first one is our is our standard is our standard um, standard stencil filter. Well, actually, no. So could no. We're not talking about shaders. We're talking about materials. So the first one is this aluminum material, rather, and the second one is our park material. And now both of those materials, their uh, stencil test uh, variable. Which we can double check, double check that we've named everything right. Um, specular stencil filter. Yep, it's called stencil test because that's that's it's going to uh, the C sharp script's going to look exactly for that that sense that 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 word. If it's not there, then nothing will change. And uh, yep, we got our standard. Make sure that's yep stencil test. That's looking perfect. All right, put a lot of space in there. Let's keep it looking nice. And okay, so now in theory, if I just press play, uh, everything should work relatively smoothly. Let's have a look. Okay, go through. All right. So what's oh, you know what I haven't done? I haven't added the ridge body and the collider to our main camera. So we've got a few options here. I could add it again, or I could uh, make sure I save this scene, jump back into my other scene, the uh, uh, the portal test, and we're gonna make a we're gonna make a prefab out of our main camera as well. So go main camera, drag it into the prefab folder. There we go. Save that scene. Jump back over to our park scene, and then we're just gonna uh, we're gonna delete this this main camera in our scene, and we're gonna drag our prefab main camera into the scene. And it's gonna be in a strange position, which is all right. We can um, adjust it a little bit, move it up a little bit to the right. That's about about head height, right? <laughs> Lovely. All right, now if we give it a go, things may just operate smoothly. Okay, you notice how it adjusted because we said at the start of the scene, make sure you do that. And then we jump through. Oh my God, we're in this other world. Wow, that's so cool. I mean, yeah, like it really is a, a for, you know, you really want to get in there in VR, see how that's actually looking. But at least, at least it's all very functional. One thing I want to test to make sure. Mm, oh yeah, 
back face culling. Okay, so we look back through the portal, we should be able to see nothing. That's because uh, by default, triangles only render if they're facing a certain direction. So let's see if I can, you know what, no, I'll, I'll, I'll look it up, I'll, I'll keep recording, I'll just look it up. Uh, Unity uh, cull. I just gotta get my uh, get my phrasing phrasing my phrasing right, <laughs> and and yeah okay cull off. That's all we gotta do. So on our win auto portal window uh, shader, go to shaders uh, portal window. Open that up. All right, and I'm just gonna add one more line. Call it cull off, and we jump back in to our uh, to our scene. See if we can hit the play button. All right, we jump back in through our through our window. Now I'm going to turn my camera around, twist it around. Oopsie Daisy, that's turning the boat around. Let's see if I can get this main camera. Ah. <laughs> All right, grab the main camera, turn it around. There we go. Look back through the portal, and that would show us back into the into the. Uh, uh, the boring normal dimension. So yeah, okay. So that's that's about everything for this one. Uh, next, we're gonna do an AR core interval implementation, and that's how you say it. And that's how we're gonna uh, also do an AR kit after that. And when Unity 2017.3 comes out, apparently Vuefourier is coming out with it. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, if you, that should that should happen. The the Vuefourier that's really gonna work a lot with like be very easy to implement. Um, uh, it'll be very interesting to work with that, so we'll probably do a video on that one too.